today's video is going to be my April favorites in I know. I'm doing this video super duper early only for the simple fact that when I was in New York I got completely backed up on videos and now I have all these videos I need to put up and not enough time to do so and I figured that if I didn't film my April favorites now then I was probably never going to film it and I definitely wanted to share some items with you this month that I've been loving in particular. So here we go, enough rambling, April favorites. Alright, so for starters I'm going to start off with face products. And the first face product I want to talk to you guys about is a foundation, and no, it is not a drugstore foundation. What? You guys know I am a true drugstore foundation lover. Like, I don't really have many high-end foundations. In fact, this is probably the only one I have, and it is my Shu Uemura Light Bulb Foundation, and I did a full review on this a few months back absolutely love this foundation especially like for event purposes or if I'm going out and I just want a really nice flawless finish very dewy very very just eye-catching I wore this to the style hall event and also the NYX event when I was in New York City and I got a ton of compliments on my foundation and a lot of people were saying hey you know your makeup looks phenomenal what are you wearing and I was wearing the Shu Imora foundation it's very lightweight it's definitely a buildable foundation um, the only con I have in a con that I had when I first reviewed it is that the shade is a little bit too dark for my skin tone currently but I did get a spray tan before I went to New York and this just match me perfectly so I really really do like it I will leave the link to this foundation down below Jouer's luminizing moisture tint is my go-to product during the spring and summer hands down because I live in Florida it's extremely hot so I don't necessarily want to wear my L'Oreal true match or my Shui more foundation every single day because that foundation is just going to melt off of my face like I'm not even kidding and who wants to wear a heavy foundation when you can gravitate towards something like this it is a moisture tint so it's kind of like a moisturizer with a little bit of coverage but not too much it's not medium it's not full coverage it's definitely a light coverage so if you're looking for something that is going to to kind of conceal all of your blemishes this is not the product for you if you do want something that is going to be natural looking and is going to look like skin then this is the product for you if you do have blemishes and stuff like I do then I would just hit it with some concealer and then apply this directly over top and you are good to go I might as well knock out some of the products I'm wearing on my face today and I'm first going to start off with this eyeliner by Urban Decay I never owned a Urban Decay gel eyeliner until I went to New York I went to the Allison and broad public relations you know building I guess and they gave us the perversion gel eyeliner by Urban Decay absolutely amazing it is the blackest of the blackest gel eyeliners I have ever seen it's very creamy and it's just easy to apply I did use it on my eyeliner today and guys just by the looks of my eyeliner you know it's awesome because I don't think my eyeliner has ever looked this great with a gel product and I have to give it to Urban Decay they did awesome speaking of Urban Decay I came across an oldie but a goodie and Allison and Broad brought this to my attention when they stuck it into our swag bag Bag, and it is Urban Decay's eyeshadow in the shade Midnight Cowgirl and as you can see it is a very pretty champagne iridescent color and I am wearing it on my lids today it's the perfect shadow for all over the lid if you want to put it in your inner tear duct or if you want to highlight your brow bone it is just the perfect color for the spring summer winter any time of the year color seriously go get you some try it out you will love it not even kidding I also have a lippy favorite and this one is by MAC Cosmetics and it is in the shade Kinda Sexy. It is a matte lipstick and it is only available at MAC Pro stores. I was on the hunt for this for a while at my local MAC but she said it was only available at MAC Pro stores so when I was in New York we went to the MAC in Times Square next to that Sephora and I asked if they had it and they had it so I'm like yes this is a MAC Pro store. I bought it. Absolutely love it and it is a pinkish nude color so basically that that is what it looks like a very wearable very every day and I've been wearing it a lot ever since I got it I put a pretty good wear a pretty good dent whatever you want to say on the lipstick for sure and I get tons of compliments when I wear this and a friend of mine actually wants to steal it and I'm not gonna let her yeah 
I have been loving this blush from Jouer, and basically it is this blush right here in the shade called Peach Bouquet, and Jouer packaging is always so hard to hold up because there's a mirror right here, but it is like this pinky kind of corally blush. Really, really like it. It's very soft and velvety, not chalky at all, and when you look at the blush on your fingertips when you swatch it, it has a tad bit of like iridescence in it. I'm not going to call it shimmer or glitter because it's not chunky. It's just a really nice illuminating blush. You guys probably already seen this one coming, but I'm just going to say it anyways. And it is my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Eyeshadow Palette. Definitely a favorite in the whole month of April ever since I got it. When I went on my trip to New York City, this is actually the only eyeshadow palette that I took with me. I used it during the whole entire duration of my trip, and I absolutely loved it. These shadows are a mixture between neutral and some colors. You can do a very everyday look or a more intense look with these shadows. I really, really like them. They're not chalky or anything like that. They really glide on and they're very easy to blend. So if you're wondering if you should get this, I say yes. Now let's be honest here, when I use false eyelashes, I'm not really a huge fan of very big, like, vampy lashes or anything like that. Anything that doesn't look natural. But I don't know what's gotten into me lately. I've been loving the lashes that I'm wearing right now, and they are by Esquito Lashes. I just love Esquito Lashes, and I feel like they are the only lashes I've been wearing lately. But these ones are in the style number of Voila Lash. Love them. They're fabulous. They're amazing. I'm so glad I got them and I didn't really think I was going to like them as much as I do because to be honest when I opened the box I was kind of intimidated because I'm more of a very natural looking lash kind of gal but I'm telling you these lashes have changed my life and I absolutely love them. I always have coupon codes for Esquito lashes down below if you guys are interested. Like I said, voila lash, they're going to change your life. Duo Eyelash Adhesive, it's literally amazing, it's everything. I love it, a lot of people say that the dark one is a lot better than the clear one. I don't really know if that's true because I haven't tried the dark one, but I really love the clear one in general. What I do is I just apply a very thin coat of glue onto my lashes, let it sit for about 30 seconds to a minute, and then I apply them on, and I don't have any problems. My eyelashes stay on all day. They don't move. They don't pop up in the corners or anything like that. So if you guys are looking for a really good eyelash glue, duo all the way. I have literally been obsessed with my new contact lenses by Desio in the style number Icy Blue. They're phenomenal and I have never tried a pair of contact lenses that are as vibrant or as pigmented as these contact lenses are. I'm going to insert a picture right here or a video clip, whatever you want to call it. And basically, as you can see, these lenses are extremely pigmented. They're opaque. They look very, very nice, which is definitely hard to come by for people who have darker eyes. I know I've tried other contact lenses in the past, and I wanted my eyes to be blue, and they weren't really blue. They were just like a dark, dark blue that kind of looked brown. And I love these. They turn my eyes completely blue. They look semi-natural if no one knew that I had brown eyes but being that everyone knows I have brown eyes they don't look semi-natural on me but I really really do love these they also came with a really nice contact lens case and I'm actually going to be doing a few tutorials targeted towards people with different colored eyes so I have blue light brown and also green so give this video a thumbs up if you are excited for that now, this next product is kind of like a hate love, and if it's a hate love, you guys are probably wondering why it's in my favorites. Well, it is my favorite, I absolutely love it, and it is my Patisha Dry Shampoo. Tell you why I love it. I love it because it doesn't leave a white cast in my hair like other dry shampoos do. The reason why it is a hate love kind of thing, I hate the fact that when you let the product sit in your hair and then you move it around with your fingers, it turns my hand an icky brown color and it's just inconvenient. I have to go wash my hands, get the brown stuff off. And yeah, that's one thing I don't like about about it but otherwise I really love it I love the way it works I love the way it makes my hair look afterwards I love the way it soaks up all of the excess oils I just don't like icky brown fingers that I have to go out of my way to wash my L'Oreal Boosted High Lift Creation Spray is one of my all-time favorite products, and I love this for the simple fact that if I'm wearing my hair like this, I just take my hair at the crown area, tease it a little bit, and then I spray this bad boy in there, and then it gives me the maximum amount of volume. Didn't do it to my hair today, I didn't feel like it was necessary since I'm just staying in my room and filming this video for you guys, but otherwise, I really, really like it for like maximum volume and just high lift hair. 
Alright, last miscellaneous item is my my cloud. And you guys know a few months back when I was trying to do Fantastic February, my computer crashed and all this stuff. And it's because I had so many things on my computer. So my boyfriend bought this for me a few months ago and it is my my cloud personal storage. And as a YouTuber, you upload so many videos and I have a MacBook Pro, I don't have an iMac. My computer can only hold so many things to the point where it can't hold any more. So basically I just store all of my video footage onto this bad boy. I really, really love it because it's super convenient. I have it hooked up in the living room and I can access it from my bedroom or if I'm at my boyfriend's house, I can access it through a personal password. So I freaking love it. It has definitely been a lifesaver and I haven't ran into any computer problems since I got it. So knock on wood so that way nothing happens. Alright guys, so that basically wrapped up my April favorites. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, be sure to let me know that you liked it in the comments down below. And also let me know what products you've been loving in the month of April. I'd love to know, maybe try some of those products out. And until next time, I'll be sure to see you guys in my next video. Bye! Please take your time, but I won't be here forever.